This video is sponsored by Card Kingdom. If you click on the link in the description below, it'll take you to their store and they'll know I sent you there. Before we jump into another traditional draft of Throne of Eldraine, I want to remind everyone my content is sponsored by Card Kingdom. You can click on their logo in the panel below on Twitch and in the description below on YouTube. And if you do, take you to their store and they'll know I sent you there. And they'll have a lot of great products there, including all the Throne of Eldraine you could possibly want, really. Okay. Well, Wicked Wolf is pretty great. That's probably where we go. He does need food to be at his best, but honestly, his fail case is a 4-mana 3-3 creature that fights something. And that's already a pretty good card. Um, with food, he gets ridiculous. Scorching Dragonfire and Bognati are also pretty nice, but we'll take the wolf. I've been reasonably impressed with Searing Barrage so far. Uh, thank you for the follow, Spurlock Lexi. Um, I could consider Rambert Smasher, too, here. Um, I don't really think... Like, the best card in this pack is probably Bell of the Brawl, but, you know, we're not... We are not... Um, uh, at least now, for now. I mean, we could take it as speculation... But I think Searing Barrage is good enough that I want to take it. We, we could take it and see if we end up in a deck with Knights, but uh, I'll get the Barrage. Okay, here we probably take Reeve's Soul. Mm, animating Fairy is pretty good too, actually. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go there. Reeve's Soul is not quite premium removal, I don't think. Mm. This pack is pretty stacked. Um, Bognati, like Wicked Wolf, is a good food build around, but... Oathsworn Knight's probably just better just because it doesn't require as much work out of you to be good. Bognati kind of does. Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind a Fierce Witch Stalker either, but I think we take the Knight there. So we have one card in, in four different colors. We would have liked that in our last deck, huh? So... Kind of leaning towards a Swordmaster here. Yeah, I think that's where we'll go. It's a pretty decent card. Um, probably Malevolent Noble here. So maybe we're going to be Black Green Food. And there's also a Rose Thorn Acolyte, which could help us splash things, actually. Do I like it a little better right now, given what our deck looks like? No, I mean, he likes food. I, th I think we'll take him. Of course, we're not seeing green be all that open, so that's something to keep in mind. Um... Best card here is probably the Unicorn. But I'll go ahead and take a black card that's solid, since we already have a bunch of black cards. Uh, so I think that's what we do here, too. Black seems very open. Other than that, I'm not sure. Uh, this is food and a creature, so I kind of think I want it. Um, it's also just a decent card. Reaper of Night, we did just see do pretty sweet things against us last uh, draft, but I still don't think I can fully get behind it in, like, any deck. I think you need a really controlling one. Um, but, yeah, let's take Ginger Brute here. I don't like Flax and Intruder very much. Um, I think another Ginger Brute's fine. I, I like it more than Wolf's Quarry. It's, you know, food. Um, Tall as a Beanstalk is bad. These cards all are, pretty much. I'm going to take Mystic Sanctuary. We could end up in blue. Who knows? Here, I think we want the Cottage more than the Reaper. Because I think it's pretty clear we're in black. Eh, this is an okay sideboard card. Oh, my. <laughs> well, we were leaning towards black-green, but now I think we are officially black-green. Because uh, we got the most powerful card in the entire set for limited in Garrick. Uh, so that's awesome. Baking to a pie is really good too, but it's 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 not go it's not Garrick. So actually, I think it's Garrick is the correct pronunciation. But you know, whatever. Leave me be, and you'll escape with your life. Maybe. Wow, this would be pretty good if we were green white. It's not worth splashing because the whole purpose of it is to ramp you, so you want to play it early. Um, leaning towards out muscle here. Yeah. So, do we want a third Ginger Brute? 
Um, maybe. Spore Cap Spider does stop flyers. We're not going to end up with enough adventures for this to be as sweet for us again. Um, these two cards are both fine, but I kind of think I want more food. Nope, haven't played with Garak yet. Um, well, curious pair it is. Certainly not exciting. There are way better cards in this pack, namely Scorching Dragonfire and Tome Raider and Shield Breaker. But, uh, you know, curious pair does go with what we're planning on doing already. So here I think we do want an Acolyte. We've already got these foods and Malevolent Noble. Uh, the Acolyte could help us splash something if we decide we need to. And what do we have right now? Yeah, I mean, Searing Barrage isn't really... I don't think it's really worth splashing, but... I think having one copy of Forever Young is usually fine. Um, and I think that's what we'll take here. All right, I think here we want the Cabin. Okay, so we have Cottage or Cabin again. We also have the Witch, though, and I think she's better than they are. She's a nice food build around. Carver or Cabin? Carver is... Carver is fine. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the Cabin, honestly. Witch's Cottage or Prophet of the Peak? Probably Witch's Cottage. We're just getting all of the... <laughs> Okay, so here it's Wolf's Quarry or Reaper of the Night. Neither are cards I'm super thrilled about, but I think the Reaper's probably better. We could take Jousting Dummy just because it's a creature, but we'll take the Reaper. And another Memory Theft. Ginger Brute number four. <laughs> sure, we do like food. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards out Muscle here again. Yeah, I think that's where we want to go. Has some additional synergy with our knight, which doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's a good removal spell. Wouldn't mind noble or curious pair wheeling, or golden egg for that matter. Okay, Trail of Crumbs is an awesome food build around that I haven't gotten to play with yet. And I think it's just what we want to take here anyway. You know, Carver, Tree Folk, Spore Cap Spider. One of those would probably wheel, but we want food. Okay, so do we want Golden Egg? It does give us some fixing. But... And it's a food, but we have enough food that I don't think we're desperate to run something like it. I think I might just take Lost Legion. Thanks for the follow, C. Webster. Uh, Witch's Cottage is fine, but... Uh, we already got two of them, and yeah, I think we'll take the Legion there. So we have a Witch and a Foulmire Knight, both of which are really good, but I think our deck is getting a critical mass of food, so the Witch is probably going to be better. All right, so here I think we take the Carver. Can give you a two for one. So Smitten Swordmaster is not great in our deck. I mean, we have a few Knights, I guess. We've got the two Swordmasters, um, Oathsworn Knight, and Lost Legion. I think that's it. Uh... So maybe I'd rather have a Mara Leaf Rider. I think I would, rather than a third Sword Master. Okay, so Festive Funeral is not good removal. And we already have a decent amount of it, so I think I'll take another Curious Pair here. Okay, so Foreboding Fruit can create food for us, and it's a decent draw spell. How many humans do we have in here right now? Some, but... Not a ton. Um, I think we probably still want Foreboding Fruit, though. Yeah, we'll take another Curious Pair. Both of our decks today ended up being, like, super synergistic, and that's always fun. We got, you know, the green-white adventure deck that had everything you could ever imagine in it, mostly, you know. Uh, and now we have the... You know, we don't have the Signpost Uncommon, sadly, but uh, apart from that, we got a lot of good food makers and some good food payoffs. So, you know, that's pretty good. Three cards need to be cut. I feel like the Swordmaster, at least one of them, can probably be, go away. And we're not too upset about it. Yeah, I don't think I want the Reaper. I think we do want all those Ginger Brutes. They can, they can win the game, if nothing else. Yep, Foreboding Fruit is a worse read the bones, it's true. 
though it's not strictly worse because they do slightly different things, but it is it is probably worse. Um, giant skewer, I don't think we really need you. Yeah, I think that leaves us with. Let me check how many creatures we have. I think we have enough. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We got seventeen. You do need a lot without muscle, but we have enough. <laughs> Ginger brute deck. Let's do this. I'll be right back, and then we'll jump into our first game. All right, I am back, obviously enough. This deck looks pretty sweet. Um, are we happy with the land distribution? I think so. Yeah. Hard to ask for a better black-green deck. I mean, you know, you it could, of course, be better. Like, you know, if we had... Uh, better removal and stuff, but this deck is pretty well positioned, I think, to do, you know, I think 3-2 is definitely a possibility, uh, at least. I think we can keep this on the play. Uh, you know, this isn't when you want Forever Young. You know, you want it at a different stage of the game than this, but it's okay. You know, in some ways it's almost like taking a mulligan, but then at least it's a card in the late game that'll actually do something, you know. All right. We do have turn five Garrick as a potential uh, thing. So that's good. Wicked Wolf is one of the better things we have for getting back um, with our with our Forever Young because it's a removal spell. Okay. Hey, Ginger Brute. You would have been cool on turn one, but that's okay. Play our Acolyte here. It's a little tempting to play the Brute and then the Wolf next turn, but... Uh, eh, maybe I should have done that, but I think making sure we're going to play Garak early. Oh, wait, we can do both of those things, can't we? Why do you have to have Death Touch? Oh, it doesn't matter that you have Death Touch, because indestructible. Okay, so play our Ginger Brute. And we'll play Wicked Wolf. If we draw land, we can play Garak next turn, so that's cool. Okay. Well, in this case... Oh, I guess I didn't really need to play my witch. That's whatever. Ah, oh, crap. Undo. Undo. Thank you. This would be a messed up time for us to draw the land we need. <laughs> we do, but it's not going to come into play untapped, so it's... Oh, uh, yeah, so it's not as messed up as I may have hoped. Um, yeah, so we'll play it. And we'll make you... Unblockable. Attack for five. So if they get food in play, we're not going to be very happy. Um, but it's not like we can't recover, especially because we have Forever Young. Double Bog Naughty, huh? I think 
hold on to this food for now. All right, so. Garak would go down to two loyalty and basically immediately die if that was my plan here. Um, might just be better to attack. Yeah. So... Let's attack with those three. So... Can we just do lethal now? Uh... So this is two damage. I can do four or five. Uh, and then as long as I don't gain life, I can kill them next turn. Um, but it's probably better to just use the Carver here. That's probably the, the smart thing to do. Yeah. And then he's going to eat the food. All right. Also, if we don't have to show them Garrick in game one, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing to to not show them. Granted, it's not like he's a sweeper or something that you can actually play around for the most part. <laughs> Although, in that game, with those two flyers, we couldn't really play him uh, and have him be good. Yeah, I don't... I mean... Yeah. My favorite part about this deck is the four ginger brutes. <laughs> oh, man. Not the Garrick or the, the Wicked Wolf that just, like, destroyed our opponent, but... Yeah. Um, I think this is a keeper. Yeah. We do definitely want to hit a couple lands. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Ginger Brood aggro. And then we can also make a third food. But we are, in fact, stuck on two lands right now. Hey, there's a swamp. Um So, I think attacking with uh, with both here is kind of okay. I don't love it, though. I mean, they're going to get a food out of the deal. This is what we wish we had in our deck, but... But I guess I don't hate it either. Let's do it. I mean, we want to kill that thing before it goes crazy on us. There's a good chance they just take this, because... You know, not worth trading their Savvy Hunter for a Ginger Brute. And, uh, you know, a, even though they're getting like a one and a half for one, because we use half of our Carver, uh, it's pretty rough. Yeah, they're just going to take it. In which case, I think we want to play our Malevolent Noble. And Wonder Turn. Yeah. 
Yep, that card's good. They're gonna get a food here. So I think we attack with everybody. Man, these ginger brutes have been doing work. <laughs> uh, so we'll play Witch's Cottage and then our Curious Pair. Where's our big bad wolf when we need it, you know? That's not good. Gonna have to bring in our enchantment hate for that. That makes our ginger brutes quite sad. There's basically no reason to attack with ginger brutes <laughs> when this when the board looks like this. Hey, we're getting there. Um so yeah, I think we attack with the noble. Yeah, but that's probably it. The noble could start gobbling up ginger brutes at this point. Um, that's worth considering, certainly. But I mean, I guess we could eat one of them and then play oath sworn knight. Still, might be worth it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely can pump a creature in response to an attack, but I think it's probably better to just add to my board to, uh, you know, play out Oathsworn Knight, who can actually just block this stupid thing. I think I am going to have my guy eat one of my Ginger Brutes here. Uh, yeah. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> I can't do both. Why did I think I could do both? Oh, I haven't played a land yet. That's why. But we want to tap. I guess I could have played the knight and uh, left up Carver's combat trick, but I think this is fine. Maybe getting rid of this food is better because it's less um, flexible. So they can sack food to draw cards right now, which is pretty nice for them. Man, even Garak is going to have a hard time winning us a game. He'll help, though. That will help, too, actually. Um, yeah, so let's attack with our noble. <laughs> Double Revenge of Ravens is not good. But my witch being able to turn food into three damage 
does seem so they're gonna gain two out of this and then lose three so i think that's worth it i could actually eat ginger brew but now i think it's probably better to uh just play tempting witch and start using food to kill them basically uh yeah We do have three food in play, so it's entirely doable. Granted, they have food too, which will gain them life. End our turn. Yeah, food makes some of these games so grindy. That's pretty gross. <laughs> Back-to-back -back okay adversaries. All right, so I think we play Garg here. How many cards do they have? 27, we have 26. Watch out. These woods get awful dark. Um, I think I'm actually just gonna make the wolves. Eh, maybe I don't. Maybe I should just... If it does drop his loyalty to two. But... I think we need to kill Savvy Hunter. And then we'll protect Garrick at all costs. I mean, other than our Tempting Witch, basically. The question is, do they sack their food here? I kind of wouldn't hate if they did, because we don't want them to gain life because of our tempting witch, but... Garrick isn't going to be able to, like, win us the game because going wide isn't an option right now, but... What he will do... Hey, more food. Let's see how sharp my axe is. What he will do, um, is keep us alive basically so that is definitely worthwhile that's the first time i've seen someone do that adventure all right so i'm gonna block this actually kill that thing and then also block that uh those are me blocking the same things we want to keep our food around for our witch, because she's our way out right now. Okay, so. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Kind of have to cast my carver here. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll still be able to use the Witch's ability, but yeah. I think we do want to cast the Carver. Alright. So... Sack of food at the end of their turn. What's his ultimate do? Eh, his ultimate would win us the game if we get there. We'd have to be careful how we attack, but it could win us the game. losing my witch if I do it, but yeah, maybe it's better to just lose the food. Yeah, it is. I mean, Ginger Brute, I can actually, uh, I can actually still sacrifice it, so I think that works out pretty well.
must run or hide. All right, so if they let us untap, we can potentially win the game if they don't gain life some way. <clears throat> Getting around Revenge of Ravens with her is pretty sweet. Thanks. Thank you very much, Tempting Witch, for getting us there. Well... Wouldn't have been able to do it without Garak, who gummed up the ground and made it so it was very difficult for them to ever kill me. In our first game in that match, our Wicked Wolf did most of the work, and now Garak showed up and did a lot of work too. Garrick, Garrick. I recently did a video on him for um, Card Kingdom, and I looked up the proper pronunciation and realized I say it wrong. Uh, it was a pretty good hand. I didn't see the... Yeah, it's a pretty good hand. Um, yeah. But I can't remember what about how I say it is wrong. So, I think we can get away with... Ginger Brood on turn one here. We can basically curve out, um, and we still might have a chance to actually use Witch's Cottage, so. Uh, all right, so let's attack again. And then we'll play our Marley Frider. Who's like the least exciting food payoff ever. <laughs> but hey, he's a two mana three one with a little bit of upside. Now that upside is gone though. <laughs> I mean, it's not gone, but it doesn't matter right now as much. It might later. My cat is announcing her presence. Yeah. So, I kind of think I'm just going to play the Acolyte in my turn. Next turn we can Wicked Wolf if we need to. We're going to be able to Witch's Cottage, so there's some value there. But obviously Wicked Wolf is the ideal thing to get back with Witch's Cottage. Thank you for the follow, D-U-B-L-C. Let's go with that. That's obnoxious. Now we won't be able to play our Wicked Wolf this turn if we really wanted to. And you can't even block, so like... I can't make you block my Marleaf Rider. Well... I think we're going to play our gingerbread cabin. And yeah, end our turn. Oh, we can actually get in for a free damage, so we will. We can actually play Garak next turn, which would be pretty great. So even right now, even if I don't sacrifice food, my Wicked Wolf can kill... Ooh. Elves? They're gonna name Elves. Okay. That's not nice. Uh, 
Okay. So much for getting to play our guy this turn, huh? Um, however, we do still have a pretty nice Wicked Wolf here. Who's going to eat that Order of Midnight. And... Next turn we can play Witch's Cottage if we need to to get something back. And it'll come un into play untapped too, so Garrick will be happy. of ice. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'm going to attack with my wolf here. Let them double block him or whatever. Whatever they want to do. They probably won't, actually, because of Ginger Brute. Uh, yeah. So we'll just get him for one. If they double blocked, it would have been real nasty. Um, all right, so we'll play our cottage here. And I do think we probably put the acolyte back on top. Why not? And then we'll play Garrick. I think we'd rather make the creatures here. You're not scared of dogs, are you? All right. Yeah, that <laughs> Garrick does does prompt a lot of scoops because he's ridiculous. He was my pick for the strongest card in the set, and so far. Not disappointed. I've had Lockmere Serpent too, who's been good, but not as good as him. Alright, this is another keeper. I think we probably still play Ginger Brute on turn one. Might be a little less impressive. Uh, yeah, but I think we'll still do it. Want to play Witch's Cottage here? Karik has liked us. That's been that's been lucky. Nah, I think it's probably better to just play Marley Frider. If we don't draw a land next turn, we can at least um, use Curious Pair. I don't know. This same matchup again. It is not a good one. Okay, so I think we do want to play our cottage here. Um, and then I think we're going to make this unblockable. Attack for one. And then we'll create a food token. Now we can play our Acolyte this turn. If that's what we think we should do. Okay. Um, this is hard. Honestly, I think we want to hold on to Garrick if we can. And we can. But maybe we also need to hold on to our Acolyte if that's our plan.
Yeah. Mm, nah. Okay. That's a pretty nice card to help us recover. Am I willing to trade my Ginger Brute? Probably not. Well, maybe I need to keep, you know, every time I've played against that lately, it's it's been pretty nasty. So maybe I should be uh, playing it more myself. Wow. Okay. Um, go play Ginger Brute. And I think I'm going to attack with everything. I can use the carver to help survive a combat if I if I need to. Yeah, we're okay with that. Um, I think we'd rather keep this alive. Yeah, covetous urge would be bad. <laughs> Steal our Garrick. Fourth land is good news. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just attack here. Down with the trade. Carver. Yeah, so we really need to hit the mana to kill that. We're not quite there yet. Um, unless <laughs> I can coax him into a block. No, it's still not worth it because then my I would yeah my Carver would die too. All right, so what am I doing this turn? I probably don't want to make this unblockable right now because if I don't, I can play two things, so. Um, I mean, making him have flying for a turn is fine. I mean, I definitely want uh, pretty desperately to draw a sixth land and also to hope they don't have another freaking Reaper of the Night right here. If they do, we're pretty much dead. Okay, great. We did draw. There's a chance that they have removal. I mean, not removal, but uh, counter magic. I could try to coax it out of them. So... Stack with both of these. And then I'm going to try to use out muscle as my main plan. If they just take three... Yeah, so... And then now we can get indestructibility out of out muscle, so... See what happens there. Okay, well the good news is our creature does survive. <laughs> Bad news is theirs doesn't die. Um, all right. This next turn I think I'm gonna have to cast Garrick one way or another. Unfortunately, um, I mean, could be could be fortunate too, I suppose, but it's not looking promising. I think we could say. 
Um, alright, so let's attack. See what happens. Alright, let's give it a try. Okay, he resolves. Awesome. <laughs> Um, just in case we get one of our food payoffs, might as well have a bunch of it. Yeah, the good news for them is we're not really pressuring them much. Um, Garak does make their lives difficult, but because we don't have that much pressure, like if they play a flyer here... They don't, but if they had, it might have been a little bit of trouble. Hey, food payoff. <laughs> we were born for the hunt. So we've actually got a pretty fast clock, thanks to our witch. Alright. Maybe this draft will go faster if people just keep scooping against Garrick. Garrick? Garrick, Garrick, I don't know. Inspiring <laughs> unicorn. I, I do think this is keepable. Mostly because we've got three lands and we can play two cards. The probability that we either draw more cards we can play or green mana is pretty significant. So, uh, yeah. The chance we get a gingerbread on turn one is pretty high because we have four. <laughs> okay. There's a forest. Uh... So they're green white adventure. That's what we did in our last draft. play our rider here he's a decent attacker right now after all
Yeah, we probably want to outmuscle that. It can definitely run away with games if you're not careful. Um, I wish we had more green mana, but you know, what are you going to do? We're fine with that trade. Yeah, we're gonna kill that one too. <laughs> Glad we killed the first one. Ugh, still no green mana. No, well, not double green mana, I should say. All right, so out muscle. If I out muscled on my brood, it would have died, Zaranak. It's a fight effect, not just a damage effect. So I would not have a 2 2. <laughs> it would be dead. Yeah, that is a buff witch, it's true. She's not normally, she's not used to doing three damage this way, that's for sure. Hmm, pretty good draw. Um, okay, so. Yeah, I didn't have Adamant, correct. If I had Adamant, then yeah, that would have been awesome. So that drops him to four. And we can play Oathsworn Knight. And we can also play Treats to Share. So the good news is, even if they play that giant, we can just we can just win with Tempting Witch. Uh, getting us there. Um, so, yeah. She has them on a three-turn clock right now. Wouldn't that have been a sweet time to draw that green mana? It would have been. So, send the knight in and, well, I actually don't have a choice with the knight, do I? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> okay. In that case... Now what do you do? You don't have any good blocks here. <laughs> yeah, chump block makes the most sense. No, outflank is pretty conditional, uh, but if you need removal, it's it's all right. It's not great, but it is all right. So they could play this big giant if they wanted to. I would be unable to do much about it. Um, but they are dead in two turns from my witch, so. And I have an Osworn Knight who can block forever. Well, not forever, but for long enough. Okay. This will speed things up a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, send them both in. Ooh, I didn't use that ability. <laughs> That's okay. It'll work out. Yeah, that messed. I messed that up. Sadly, they do have their own food in play, so they can actually gain life to survive a little longer. Also, my knight can't block forever because it always has to attack. I'll make another food token. Yeah, getting in for actual damage there would have been good. On Magic Online, I'm used to it giving you the opportunity to attack and then use activated abilities like that, but I guess I have to put a hold on it here. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and block the Beanstalk Giant. So they can gain life to survive here. Yep. Uh, okay. You have to attack, so you will. <laughs> so let's play Curious Pair. And then Witch's Cottage. Get back, Ginger Brute. Food. So if we're allowed to untap and they don't gain any life, we should be fine. Uh, that doesn't gain them life. What could they have that they're thinking so hard about here? It worries me a little bit. I don't think there's any crazy seven mana trick in this format that can like kill you out of nowhere. Morning, Flavius. Was not worth the risk of blocking with my witch. All right, yeah. We should be fine. They, I guess they could draw something that gains them life here. Okay, they did not. Yeah, Righteousness is not a very good card in Limited, though. I do really want a Righteousness and Fling at some point. That's some hilarious stuff to do. With two sort of mediocre cards in this format. <laughs> but put together, they can do some silly things. I did not grow up on a lake. That's not the only way you can end up liking ducks and geese, so. <laughs> Did not. In fact, I grew up in the desert. This deck is 2-0 oh so far? Yeah, 2-0 oh so far. This is pretty good. <laughs> 
Ginger Brute is the MVP. Oh man, are they gonna play something on turn one? They are, but it's something that I wouldn't feel bad about trading for with my Ginger Brute. Let's play a Swamp, actually. Maybe I should have gone the more aggressive route and like left mana up for our Carver this turn and been able to attack a little more effectively. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we play our Knight. He's got some extra synergy without muscle. Yeah. So I think we need to outmuscle that Pathlighter. They have too many ways to take advantage of it. I guess I could go with Wicked Wolf instead, actually. Yeah, I don't hate that plan. Outmuscle will be able to kill more stuff. So I guess let's attack with our Knight first and see what happens. Yeah, and then so we'll play Wicked Wolf. That's why a 4-mana 3-3 three, three that fights is already already a really good card. Because <laughs> it's like, cool. Killed something. Okay, well, now we're going to outmuscle your guy. How many outmuscles in a row are, are we going to see here? <clears throat> I mean, I guess a lot. Hmm. I guess I could try to use my Carver instead. I guess that could be all right. Yeah, we'll go for the Carver here. And... I really want to be greedy and try to get my wolf back before I, you know, so I need another swamp, but I don't think we can really afford to be that greedy. Uh, we're just going to play him. I mean, we could drain them for one, but I think getting the creature in play is fine. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's attack with both. Could have a trick here. The cool thing about a trick, though, is it still doesn't kill our creature. <laughs> so, yeah. I started early, actually, Monster Hunter. I was on time. So let's play our Legion. These are like all the knights we have in our whole deck. They're all here. Um, do I really want either of these things? I guess the Noble's all right. I don't really think I'm desperate for a Ginger Brute right now, though. Um, and do I really want a food? I guess I could use some food. I mean, we're going to get something at some point that's going to want us to have food. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Okay, so... I think I'm going to outmuscle the Youthful Knight. I mean, that first strike is a problem, so yeah, I think I go... Yeah, I think we want to use it on our Oathsworn Knight.
And then we attack with everything. Morning, Jake and Jalare. Magic. Man, our poor Oathsworn Knight's gonna have to attack. <laughs> See, we wanted food. Um, so he has to attack, so he will. Uh... Yeah, we'll play the Noble. So now we have something to do with our food. So there's that. We know... Yeah. That's gonna be big. We could use Garrick. We don't actually have the mana for him right now, though, so... Maybe we don't really feel like drawing him. Um... I think we just... You know what, actually? I'm gonna double block. Uh, so I think we attack with Lost Legion. And obviously, also our knight. I could have eaten it. Yeah, that's that's true. That would have been kind of a good use, I guess. Okay, so... Play... Let's just play the Curious Pair so I can start using her ability... We'll hold on to this land to bluff. So they can play a big giant. But if I get enough food, it might not matter. <laughs> food, I think, is... And the witch's ability is, I think, how we want to try to win here. Yep, I do have Garrick. Now I can actually play him if we ever draw him. Unfortunately, we didn't have them at a... We had them at 10, which is an awkward place. Of course, we do have three more Ginger Brutes who might uh, be able to help us here. I think I just take nine. To the face. That means I can attack with my Carver this turn. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hmm. If I attack with everything, nah, I can't do it because I die in the backswing painfully. All right. Play another tempting witch. We need we're gonna need one more food. Oh wait a second. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have killed him. For a second I was thinking maybe yeah, I should have attacked with everything. It's pretty tempting to try to take nine here, but I think we should block the beanstalk giant this time with our curious pair. Yeah. Hmm. So we need a card that makes food, which we do have a lot of, uh, or Garrick, basically. Or a kill spell, I guess, would also work. Food, Garrick, Kill Spell. Mm, that, that's not what we're looking for. We aren't dead yet, though, so. And it can at least block the Unicorn and kill it if that's what I want to do. I probably still block the Beanstalk Giant, though. I mean, I think the path we took is the right one. Getting them down to one life definitely matters. So 
So actually, I think we do go ahead and kill the unicorn. We can, just holding on to one tempting witch is enough. Okay, <laughs> draw well. Oh man. Yeah. Hmm. If I hadn't double blocked, I would have had lethal. Man, I'm dumb. Because I would have had two creatures who could attack, and they only could play one blocker. So, that was a punt. That was definitely a punt. I could have snuck one damage in there if I hadn't blocked with two things. <laughs> I got... Yeah... What are you going to do? Yeah, we don't really have a good sideboard against them. We do have that discard spell, but, it, you know, it's still kind of crappy, even with the adventure sub, uh, sub, you know, secondary effect. Oh, the unicorn does have vigilance, but that still means I could have just blocked it with the Marley Rider. Oh, no, then I would have been dead. Okay. All right. I did the right thing. <laughs> You're right. That makes me feel a little better. I think I still could have done it, though, if I blocked with just the witch on the 8-8. Eight, eight, and then used Marley Frider to force... Oh, I didn't have I didn't have food. So, yeah, never mind. Um, this is fine. I think we probably want to play our cabin... For First, I mean, I guess I guess we can figure that out later potentially. Yeah, maybe we try to get the value out of the gingerbread cabin. So, yeah, let's try that. We can play it on turn four, if nothing else, if, uh, yeah. Well, you would have been nice on turn one, but, you know, it's whatever. Player Noble. just end our turn here I mean I do this first but hmm I guess if I do that I can actually get in for two damage I don't think they're gonna block I'd be pretty happy if they did honestly um If they do, I sack food and kill their knight and have a 3-3. If they don't, I just play Curious Pair in my second turn. Yeah, so we'll just do the two. We have two cards that basically have Adamant, but we only have two each of their <laughs> type. Although, I guess playing the cabin will make out Muscle Adamant later on. That definitely matters. Um, I kind of think we have to outmuscle now because the path lighter can really wreak havoc. Um, so I will. Who do I want to out use it on though? Yeah, I guess the noble. Yeah, Curious Pair. Putting in work. Okay, they're going all in on one big creature. Strategy that I'd be happy to punish, but... Oh, I can. You're right. 
That's actually pretty cool. I can go have one man of any color. Have it be black. Come on now. And then foreboding fruit. Pay adamant. There's forever young. Um, I think I'll attack them for four. What can we get back right now with forever young? Nothing. Cool. Probably actually going to use one of these to gain life at some point soon. We could be in trouble here. Yeah, I mean, that night, they've got Adamant going, right? Yeah. We need to draw a way to kill that knight, and we don't actually have that many ways to do it. Um... What is it right now? Uh, it's about to be, let's see, it's a two, one plus three. So it's a six, five. Okay. So I don't currently actually have enough food to kill it. Like if I draw my wolf here, um, but I think I can probably get away with holding onto these foods a little longer. Hmm. Well, that will help us find Garrick, for example. Um, so I don't hate it. I think it's all we're going to play because... We want to be able to sack the food this turn. Yeah. So Forever Young can get us a creature back right now if we want to, if we need it to. But uh, we don't. Yeah, so I have to pay three mana when I sack it to get the card selection. And I can get permanence, right? Yeah, so Garrick is included in the possible things we can draw. Alright, so... Yep. <laughs> okay. It is more food, if nothing else. Oh, I thought that was the end of their turn. I somehow screwed that up, obviously. Um, okay. Oath Sworn Giant is actually pretty nice in this sort of scenario. Where he actually gets to block for a turn. <laughs> and we can play our Ginger Brute. Yeah, we need three mana. Yeah, so play Ginger Brute. Free block. Come on, deck. Dirtle us into something good. Curious Pair is probably better. Because it gives us a blocker and a food. Yeah. Oh, hello. Well. How about that? So. I think we want to kill the Youthful Knight. I think. <laughs> 
Um, I can kill Sir Allen with only having to give up one food. But... And then make Wicked Wolf large later. So maybe only giving up one food is better. I don't, I don't know. Either way, we're playing this. Yeah, let's kill Sir Allen. And then we... Sack of food, which will also let us use Trail of Breadcrumbs again. So, auto pay. Yep, another curious pair works. This also means we get in for four here. Uh, except it doesn't, really. Oh. Okay. Less than ideal. Okay, so actually, I think I am going to attack here. They can hit us for six, but that's okay. I think dropping them to eight is worth it. Lots of food for Wicked Wolf to eat. You think they can find lethal out of nowhere here? <laughs> that would be bad. We need our other out muscle. That's what we really need. Okay. So they're trying to go wide ahead of Sir Allen coming into play, which makes sense, I suppose. There he is. The man we've been waiting for. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to attack with Oathsworn Knight. Well, I guess the fact that I can make... Yeah, never mind. We'll attack with both of those. Oh no, I'm not going to make wolf tokens though. So yeah, just the knight. Just the knight. I'm going to kill the youthful knight here. So, if that's my plan, I do need to leave the blockers back. Alright, so... Will Garrick get us there? I think he's got a really good chance to. We need one of we need our witch right about now to get things going. Hey, we do have a knight in play, so that actually like does something. The ability there. <laughs> It doesn't a lot of the time in this deck. We were born for the hunt. So make this unblockable. And then I think we attack with this and Wicked Wolf since we can make it indestructible. Uh, yeah. That's a surprising way to block, given indestructibility. <laughs> but I... Okay, I'm still surprised. Yeah, we'll also do Trail of Breadcrumbs. Yeah, they missed, they missed that the wolf could become indestructible, I think. 
Wicked Wolf and Garrick is not really what you want to be dealing with. So I don't blame the opponent. Thank God that Trail of Breadcrumbs found us what we needed. So 3-0 now. Thank you for the follow, Ashim and Telos. Yeah, this deck does. Both of our decks today were really fun synergistic ones. We did a green-white um, adventure deck first. I think we can keep this. It's not awesome, but I think it's reasonable. And it only went three and two. It wasn't like, this is probably better because we have the bombs we do. That deck that deck had uh, the, the realm giant guy who can wrath and stuff, but that was it. Hey, mirror match. Battle of the Ginger Brutes, who can actually block each other. There aren't a lot of creatures with haste in this format. Nice. Well, so much for being able to block him. That is a pretty sweet combo. This gingerbread is messing me up. <laughs> That's for sure. I think we'll play our witch and just end our turn here. thinking about double blocking the ginger brood if I'm given the opportunity but I'll I'll probably just take it and block the rimrock knight so they're red green non-humans which ginger brood fits pretty well in obviously hmm do I try to go for a double block I think I do. Really derails their plans if it works out. If it doesn't... Yeah. This costs five to equip to something, so they're not anywhere close being able to do it. Plus, I can get a Ginger Brute back next turn if I want to. And I think slowing them down is what we want to do. Obviously, they're a pretty aggressive deck, and we want to make the game go for a while so we can find Garrick or Wicked Wolf or something. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and block Rimrock Knight. Not with that one, though. Yeah, no, not with that one. Take two. I think, if, I think any deck can be good in this format. Um... It is true, though, that food makes it harder. But the fact that food costs mana does kind of mean that it takes some serious work to... Um, okay, so there's going for the damage. Okay, well... I think this witch is about to get jacked. So, the question is, do I want to get back? Uh, no attacks. Um, getting back another witch isn't a bad plan, I guess. Okay. 
This is kind of an awkward spot for Garenberg Carver because I don't really want to use it aggressively. Actually, I have six mana, so I can get away with using it aggressively. Because I can do both things, Carver and, uh, yeah. Play another non-human, this can become a 2-2. Two -two. There's still one shy. You're a human, so I'm not too concerned, but I guess I'm not loving loving the situation either. Uh, end our turn. We have a lot of food, that's for sure. I'm deeply considering taking whatever this does to me. I guess it'll be three damage and trying to kill Sir Farron. Drafts have gone pretty well. We went 3-2 with our first one and we're 3-0 with this one. So we're at least going to break even on both. All right, they're not going to attack. In that case, um, do I start going after them with Tempting Witch? I think I do. At some point, it might be nice to gain life, but I'm not there yet. Um, so let's play Lost Legion and see what we have. That'll determine whether or not I want to play Witch's Cottage. Uh, is Trail of Crumbs what we want right now? I kind of feel like making sure we have like a real board presence is more important right now. I think... Yeah. I'm going to do that and then... Play... I can actually attack with my Carver. Kind of overlooked that fact. Yeah, you know, let's, let's attack with the Carver. Should have done that first, obviously, but. If that actually happens, I'm pretty ecstatic. I don't think it is, though. <laughs> yeah, it's not. So, I think we play the Cottage and get another Witch. And end our turn. So, if they get to five mana, things are going to get a little hairy. And they do... Um, yeah. So if they equip this, it becomes, what is it, a 4-3? Yeah. And this will hit me for 5. Probably want to bring in Artifact Hate, or at least consider it. I don't think we had time to sort of dirtle around with Trail of Breadcrumbs this time, unfortunately. Yeah, so I have to double block him, basically. Drops me to two.
So, yeah, we can equip that and make this a 3-2. So that kind of means I have to leave my witch back. Yeah, I mean, leave my legion back. I wish I could attack with the legion, but it seems unwise. This does cost them five, so I mean, it takes them a whole turn to equip it. I chump. Um, I mean, we have to hope we draw well in sort of a tight situation, but and maybe Trail Breadcrumbs would have helped with that, huh? I could also gain life, actually. Got to think outside the box here. I could instead just take the damage and gain life, but then I need to find more food to kill them. It depends. Depends what they do. Yeah, the trail probably could have helped, but I felt like we were in such an emergency situation. I needed to hit a creature. Um, and making sure I had another witch, it might pay off in this game. Yeah, paying five to equip this and trade it for Lost Legion, it's not going to feel great for our opponent um, if that's what they decide to do. That's not good. That can kill me in two turns. <laughs> so, okay, we need to draw well. Oh, yeah, and I can't actually drain them right now. I think for now we're just going to keep the food around. Okay, well, we're going to get more food. So there is that. This is going to be, I mean, I'm probably going to gain life with one of them and do three to them with another one. <laughs> yeah, but they can, if they ping me here, for example, um, they'll get to uh, draw a card, basically, from my library. So, well, that's not good, is it? We're still not dead, but we're close. We have to draw um, uh, Garrick, basically. I guess Wicked Wolf would also work. Yeah. So do I block Sir Kara? I think I do, probably. Hmm. Yeah, we do. We don't want them to draw the card or do four damage to us, so. It doesn't feel great, but it's kind of what we have to do. Okay. Well, I think that means, well, they're not quite dead because we can sack the food for life, but we're close. We are very close to dead. Man, this draft has taken a long time. I may have to not finish the draft on this stream and finish it on another stream later this week. <laughs> the way the way things are going.
We still have an out muscle somewhere in our deck. And it will have adamant, so that's nice. Okay, now I don't even think Garrett can save us. Hmm. He can't save us, but making two wolves is a big deal. I think we'll block here. And get, I think we need to kill one of them to have any chance. And then we'll gain uh, six life to survive. Granted, they'll get to draw one of our cards, but what are you going to do? Because if Garrett can come down, make his wolf tokens, and block both of these... That gives us a chance, at least. Um, this actually does, too. <laughs> we just keep surviving. But we've now reached a point where if they play a third creature, not even Garrett can stop them. So... They didn't actually play a third creature. Oh, but that does make it lethal. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Hello, Ural. Yeah, I guess in four hours, one can really only actually complete one best of three draft in this format, which is kind of crazy, but seems to be the case. Could have brought in our artifact hate, but we really only saw the uh, equipment and ginger brute, which I don't think is enough for me to bring that stuff in. Ooh, that's a bad hand. Even with the card draw, I don't think you can keep this. No. Especially going first. Okay, this one's better. I think it's probably better to play the noble, uh, to play, the, in other words, play the cottage. So we need to get rid of one of these green cards. Yeah, no, that's true. It is grindy. But I've had very few drafts in this format last less than two hours. So I guess we'll get rid of the carver. We did draw green mana. That part's nice. Um, I'm gonna play the noble here. <sighs> nice. They can pump each other. Even when it blocks, it gets pumped, so I don't really want to attack. Yeah, so do I need to block one of these now? I don't think just yet, but they are running us over pretty handily right now.
Yeah, super aggro decks are a thing in this format. I mean, in the last game, we managed to survive their initial onslaught, but uh, they managed to sneak in enough damage to kill us anyway. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll block one of these. Well, we have Garrick mana if he ever shows up. <laughs> and end our turn. That's nasty. No attacks, huh? Okay. More ways to gain life. I don't hate that. We'll hold on to this card to continue to bluff here. At least they're stuck on two mana. <laughs> Their deck doesn't really need a whole lot more than two. At least not early. They can go crazy. Yeah, their mana screwed. I think if I were them, I would still be attacking like crazy is the thing. I mean, I guess I'd leave man up from Malevolent Noble, and that makes it tricky, but... Um, yeah. Hmm. See if they use this effectively. I'm not super impressed with it, but like, you know, it's pretty potent right here. Okay. You guys are both three twos. That's fun for me. Um, I think we block you. And you. Take three. More than three. We'll take, uh, five. Yeah. But that's okay. Now I really wish we'd brought in our hate uh, cards because, yeah. So we're gonna do th we're gonna eat this food because we're gonna need to. Okay, more food, more blockers. I guess that's okay. We're trying to stave off death. We need to draw our bombs, man. <laughs> that's the secret here. Okay. That's less than good news. This is a very sweet red green non human deck, that's for sure. Um, so we're going to take. Oh man. We really can't afford to take the Ginger Brute. I mean, I guess we can. What we have to do here is draw Garrick, basically. <laughs> we're in that situation again. We go to four, uh, and this is going to be unblockable soon because I'm not going to have Ginger Brutes anymore. I do get to kill the Tracker, and they only... Well, they do only kill one of my creatures, so there's that. Hmm. Well... Might as well attack with one of them. Because <laughs> I can't double block and kill that guy. Our wolf would be good, as would Garrick. Either one would be nice. I think I'm just going to take 
three here, four. Yeah, let's just take it. I should have attacked. I can gain life, at least, um, if that's uh, worth doing. Oh, good. So, we really need Garrick. Come on, Garrick. <laughs> it's not Garrick, but once again, it will keep us alive. <laughs> Sillyly enough. Actually, it, no, yeah, yeah. I can block him, so it will keep us alive. I can only gain two life right now, but I can block enough damage from him that I should be okay. I can't really chump right now because the non-humans have trample because of ferocity of the wild. So chumping does nothing. In fact, it's worse than blocking. <laughs> In terms of preventing damage, anyway, it is. I can chump with my with one ginger brute, though, and then sacrifice... Uh, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is this. And we just sort of have to pray... For a few things to happen here. Oh, except I can't. I have to double block him or die. Yeah, right? Because that means five gets through. I can only go to five. So, yeah, we have to double block him. Even Garrick doesn't really help us now. I mean, if they don't play a creature here, he can, because we kill the Ginger Brute, and then we just have to deal with Sir Farron. But if they play a creature here, and they do... Hey! <laughs> Why couldn't you have shown up a turn earlier, my man? This curse. This frumic. I need them gone. Yeah, no matter what, Ginger Brute gets in for lethal, so. Yeah. We dropped to 3-1, and one, and we're not going to be able to finish this draft this stream, because it's time for my stream to end. But uh, we'll finish it probably on Sunday's stream is when I'll next be streaming. Uh, and so far we're 3-1, and one, so we'll update that for later. Yeah, if he'd shown up a turn earlier, we probably could have gotten there. Probably could have gotten there. But... It didn't happen. All right. So that will do it for today's stream. We'll finish this draft on Sunday. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by, and hopefully I'll see you then. It would be nice to do a little better than 3 and 2, but that's sort of my minimum goal. All right, I think we can keep this. We got lots of food to set up our Wicked Wolf. Forever Young getting back Wicked Wolf is one of the more fun things we can do, too. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we play Ginger Brute. Question is whether I attack. I think I do. It's a food. We're going to lose food, but... I like the limited format so far. I like grindy, but... Best of three seems to take forever, which I don't love for streaming and recording purposes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Oh. Well. Charming Prince it is. Probably just going to use Curious Pair's um, food ability. I could just play them as a 1-3, but I think getting food into play ahead of Wicked Wolf, probably a good idea. No, this is not a pre-con. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't think that changes anything. 
So let's make him unblockable. We're not going to be blocking. Yeah, you can definitely push monocolor in this format more than usual. I don't know about like always jamming it in the first pack, but but uh, yeah, seems pretty reasonable. Okay. All right. So I think we play our acolyte here. Do we offer up a trade again? I kind of think we do, actually. I don't think they're going to take it, so... Take the trade, that is. I think they'll take the damage. They're thinking about it, though. But even just... Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That is fine. Yeah, I mean, I pretty much agree with leaning one color, mostly in pack one. Um, unless you don't. <laughs> so. Alright, so we seem to have stopped the bleeding. Um, okay, so we can out-muscle. We can also Wicked Wolf. I think maybe just playing our wolf here and trying to kill Charming Prince is a good move. I think that's a good idea. We don't even have to eat the food yet to kill Charming Prince. So now what happens if they have a squire? Well, then I'll have to eat my food, but I'll still win there. So yeah, we'll play our wolf. And kill the Charming Prince. And then... Attack with my Acolyte. Of course, it does lose us. Oh, no, it doesn't. We still have Adamant. All right, end our turn. We have a food available. Can always get back more if we want to. Interesting. We're just gonna we're just gonna take that. Okay. Um, I think we want to hold on to out muscle. Um. Okay. So. I think we attack for five. Then we do this. And we play one of them. It might say we're at low life, but we're not really <laughs> with the food in play. You know, we're not at that low of life. We are about to go to single digits, but again, with the food, We've got an opportunity to get where we want to be. Okay, so that's three, five, six damage. Uh, if I also out muscle, it becomes seven, it becomes nine. Interesting. Okay, so I think I'm going to play Ginger Brute here. Make him unblockable. And attack with all three of these. Alright. Drops them to five. Do we want to leave up mana? I think just playing another curious pair is fine. We're not desperate to gain life. 
I don't think my grades change that much for any of the food cards. It's about as good as I expected it to be. So if they play this, uh, we can kill it and just win, basically. Between out muscle and Wicked Wolf's ability. Yeah, so that... That should basically give us the game. Um, I guess if they don't attack, it gets a little trickier. But... Oh, especially because this guy gets tapped. He has to tap to do this. To get bigger, that is. So I definitely should have eaten a food at the end of their turn. Yeah, that was stupid. Well, I think that's still what we want to do, but... Oops, indeed. So we'll tackle their Acolyte, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, I think lean monocolor, if you can, is a good idea, but... And maybe a little more so than in most formats, but I'm not like, you know. I'm not in favor of doing it super hardcore. So if I'd eaten a food at the end of their turn, I would have basically won there. So what type are you choosing? You can't kill all my stuff. I guess you're going to kill my curious pears by naming peasant. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Hmm. I think we can take it. Yeah. That means we win. We would have won a turn. Oh, actually, it doesn't completely mean we win because it untaps. That's right. That is right. Okay. So. I think we just attack with our wolf. They have to block it. Yeah, this is actually a deck from a previous stream, Scribe, that we're finishing up. We have Wicked Wolf and Garrick, so yes, on the bombs. All right, so we're going to do another food token. And I think we're actually going to play Malevolent Noble because he hits a little bit harder. And we'll turn. Probably should have gotten in for one there, making some little, little mistakes that hopefully don't come back to bite us. Actually, one of them was pretty big, because we would have already won the game if it weren't for the mistake, but, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, so, I think we just attack with everything. They have to block the wolf. Uh... I could try to go for lethal here, but I don't think it's worth the risk. Like, you know, sacking two foods to do five to them. Um, yeah, seems a little too risky to me. We haven't even sacrificed any food for life yet, but we're finally going to have time to do that. <clears throat> finally going to have time to do it here. We haven't really had the mana left over to do it. Yeah, it took us like three extra turns to win than it should have. <laughs> that could have really messed us up, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think we have anything so great. So yeah, we have four ginger brutes. <laughs> Might be the sweetest deck I've drafted in this format so far, just because of all the food synergy and Garrick.
think this is a keeper. Um, it's not an incredible one. I mean, if we draw a bunch of lands, we're kind of in trouble, but... The, the Adventures... Oh, okay. Well, now I think we just play our Ginger Brute first. Uh, but the Adventure on Curious Pair does make it a considerably more attractive hand, because we could have curved out even if we didn't draw Ginger Brute, you know? So... You know, maybe I sh you're, you're right. I should maybe be running the um, that food equipment that we actually do have. Uh, potentially might be a good idea. So I want to get the food token out of this, so we will. And we'll make him unblockable. We do have the giant's harpoon, which, yeah. With four ginger brutes and a food deck, we could probably be running it at Jambercleave. Ember Cleave would work too. All right. Okay. No attack this time because I think we want to play our witch. Well, thirty pound knight. Glad you're able to catch the stream. Good chance they have the trick in their hand. Um, the plus two, plus two trick that's a squire on the other side. Silver Flame Squire. I should really remember its name better because it was a preview card of mine. <laughs> but, yeah, I know what it does. So we have an indestructible out muscle ready to go with Ginger Brute, which, which could be pretty attractive. He can kill all these guys by out-muscling. Um, so, yeah. I think if I were them, I'd attack with the fox. They don't have much to lose. Yeah, I think they're going to. Yeah, I mean, if, if I double block, I can kill it, but hardly seems worth it. <clears throat> so... I think we're going to go ahead and out-muscle on the Flutter Fox. I think it's the most concerning. Because if it gains flying later, we're going to be really unhappy. So, I mean, I'm going to do it here. Now, a 2-4 Witch is also attractive, but... Yeah, we'll kill the Fox. <clears throat> what are they going to do with one white mana? Oh, okay. Well, fine. He's still indestructible this turn, so there. <laughs> I think the cat's a fine card. Like, I'd play it in this deck for sure. We just don't have it. We'll take two. We can win little exchanges like this because of all the food we have. Uh, I mean, we're going to play... If we don't draw a spell here... We do, though. Um, but... Yeah. So, I think I go like this. Make him unblockable. Attack. Then... Play a curious pair. And then I make another food token. And I end my turn. I think you need a bunch of food in your deck to play the cat for sure, but... You know. This deck has enough, for example. So, like, all right. We're definitely going to block this guy and see what happens. They use a trick that's cool. If they just kill our curious pair, that's even cooler. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, yeah, I'd rather have the creature die, probably. Yeah, all right. But I'm kind of okay with that, too. Trail of crumbs, huh? That could get interesting. Um, 
Alright, so pay one. Make him unblockable. Attack for two. Play Trail of Crumbs. And Curious Pair. We've got four food available, which is, you know, 12 life. So that's cool. Got a good place to spend our mana if we start flooding out. Ooh, this is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> Can they kill us here? I hope not. Doesn't look like it. All right, so you know. We're going to have to be a little less aggressive now. Um, which I think our deck just sort of said, yeah, you're going to have to be less aggressive. <laughs> because we just drew another Ginger Brute. Um, I think we just hang back and start using Trail of Crumbs from here. Play this other Ginger Brute. And into our turn. Those Ginger Brutes block this, this these guys pretty well right now. I could consider attacking with one of them, but I think to be safe, I'm not going to. <clears throat> I think we're just going to hang back in Trail of Crumbs a lot <laughs> and gain life. We can only do it once right now, yeah, because it costs, yeah, we have five mana, so yeah. We also have our trick, which could actually matter, especially if we set up a block or something. Here comes a flyer. This isn't the greatest news ever. Yeah, we've got to eat some of this food. We can't afford to just start throwing it at their faces, especially with those flyers in play. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> as much as I like more food... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll take the Curious Pair. We don't really need this. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take the Creature. Do I want to eat another food right now, even though... Yeah, I think I do. That's not exactly what I was hoping for, but, you know. Alright, so... And, yeah, we'll end our turn there. We gotta draw this thing out and draw Garrick or something. <clears throat> That's not good. Like at this point, I think I may block with Ginger Brute and then sacrifice it. I could try to kill the Shepherd. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I just want to block with Curious Pair. No. I think we're just going to block and actually kill him and then just take two here. Let my Ginger Brute die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We lose a little bit of life. That's the horrible part right now. <laughs> it's going to be tricky here to um, stabilize. Garrick would help a ton. And that's who we're trying to find. There he is. Oh, man. Can't I just have both of these? I mean, I definitely think we want Garrick. Um, yeah. Yeah. We have the mana, so... Yeah. Yeah. Garrick it is. 
Okay, so Garrick. I think we want to kill the Conrad first. Um, hmm. I guess if we kill this, we can more effectively pressure them, but... Um, he can do damage to us just by making us block, so... Yeah. Probably going to lose Garrick, but I think we take the two for one there. And yeah, we lose Garrick here, but we got to kill their most problematic creature, which will quickly become this now, I think, but you know. <clears throat> Later, Garrick. I think killing the problematic creature and um, yeah. Right, you're gonna rumble too, huh? You're all rumbling. All right, so wait, are you all attacking? No, you guys are attacking me. Makes sense. Um, so I'm gonna put you here. Actually, I'm gonna put you here, and I'm gonna put you here, and you there. Just kidding. Um, I'm actually going to put you here. And we'll take two. No tricks at all. A little surprising. <clears throat> so our wolf is somewhere on the bottom of our library, unfortunately. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Now we can't really afford to keep hanging back. That's for sure. Um, these guys just both gained flying, incidentally. Speaking of not being able to hold things back. So we're just dead in the air next turn. I mean, we can gain life. Yeah, okay. So... Three flyers. All right, so let's do this. I maybe should have been doing this all along, especially with the carver in my hand who can potentially swing things, but. Um, maybe I should have used him right there. So this will drop me to four, but I have so much mana. I have three, four, five, six, seven mana. I can get myself back up to seven, which should be enough to survive at least one more turn. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is a hard choice. It's like... All right, I think we're gonna do it. Oh, except we do need to tap all our black mana. If that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's do it. We could also target them with this later. I feel like I probably had lethal somewhere in this window that I missed between fruit being able to damage them if I needed it to and attacking with ginger brute. Yeah, what are you gonna do, you know? Okay, so I don't really think we can afford to play anything else because we need to gain the life now. Yeah. Yep. I definitely, like, if I hit them with Ginger Brute twice, used Foreboding Fruit and Car the Carver plus the Witch, there was lethal in there somewhere that I really overlooked. But what are you going to do? 
So they do have to pay life for this effect. So we may find a way to sneak lethal into if they get kind of crazy here. Yeah, so we're going to get Conrad. Which I guess means if they can mill a creature, <laughs> we're dead here. Oh, yeah. Just one creature milled would be enough to kill me. Alright, so we're going to sacrifice this food. Actually, I don't think we're going to use Trail of Crumbs here. Mostly because if we need to sacrifice two food, we will. We can actually potentially kill them. <laughs> Depending on how this turn goes, we may still find ourselves a win because Garen Brig Carver, make this big, hit them for four. Oh, never mind, that's not enough. Four, it would be seven damage. Yeah, seven's not enough, but. Uh... Oh, that was dumb of me. Okay, good, they missed. Wait, we do have lethal now, because we can sneak damage in with one of the curious pairs? No, we can't. What am I talking about? <sighs> we can get ourselves back up to seven, though, which should be enough to keep us alive another turn, right? God, I definitely missed lethal. <laughs> Too complicated of a board state for me. So yeah, that's we can do seven, seven damage, seven damage. Okay. Well. Okay. Then... I think I probably just made another mistake here, too, where... I probably... should have used my Carver, but... What are you gonna do? I wish I could play him and gain life, but I can't. I like the complicated board states, but I don't know if I'm caffeinated enough this morning to have navigated this one effectively. I think we can say I wasn't, actually. I'm kind of screwed here. Because <laughs> my creatures, like, they're going to... Oh, now we're really screwed. Yeah. Yeah, way back, if I had just been attacking with this more aggressively, and then also, um, like, I had two damage with Foreboding Fruit that I could have used, plus the Carver's being stuck in my hand, too. Like, I just I just left a lot of damage on the table uh, when I shouldn't have. Yeah. Is that all you're going to attack with? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, man, I've, I'm there. Yeah. If I'd left mana up to use my witch on that last turn, too. Like, there's so many things I did wrong there. Granted, I would have been dead if they had hit with Conrad, but one life was enough. And so if I'd used my witch at the end of their turn and then on my turn... Yeah, it's... It's bad. That was bad. Do we have the kill a flyer card? No, we don't, unfortunately. Um... Well, maybe we want Return to Nature, though. We probably do. Um, 
Yeah, the equipment might be worth it too. It's still not awesome, but it is better with Ginger Brutes. You take stuff like, you know, Forever Young and the Swordmaster. Certainly nothing special in this deck. Yeah. More, yeah, if I'd just been more aggressive with that Ginger Brute too, like, I wasn't blocking with him. Should have just been attacking. I was dead on that last turn, no matter what I did, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think we can keep this. Some more black mana would be good, and we're not going to get food out of this, but, you know, that's okay. That's annoying. Okay. Um. See if we can navigate this one a little better. A better player would easily be four and one right now, but <laughs> not me. Yeah, uh, I think I block with Curious Pair here if, if that's what they do, yeah. Okay, we're going to have more black mana soon. I like that part. Um... I think we have the time right now to do this. So, I'm definitely blocking here. Good chance they have the Silver Flame Squire, but I think we're okay with that. I could force this to block it. Oh, but this can still block it, so there's not really any point in doing that, is there? Uh, no. So I think we play our knight here, and then make a food with the curious pair. And we could also play ginger brood, actually, and I think I like that a little better. We haven't really pressured them at all yet, so ginger brood would be helpful. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do anything but scry two with him, which it just seems like that's mo that's the one that's most frequently useful. Yeah, the equipment would be nice. Doesn't seem like our opponent had a lot of removal. Or oh, sworn knight and ginger brute should do a pretty good job of pressuring him here. This is another reason we maybe should have been running the equipment, because he's immortal if you put the equipment on him. Thank you for the follow, Cali Grabber. I mean, I definitely block here if they attack me. Um, with Oathsworn Knight, that is, yeah. He has to start attacking now, but... 
That's kind of okay with me. Okay, so... Let's just attack with our Osworn Knight here. So I, yeah. All right, they're cool with taking it. I am too. Come on now, there we go. Our Marley Frider is pretty bad against them. Although I guess it blocks pretty well. Like, it can block and kill any of these except for Youthful Knight. So. We have our second Witch in our hands. So I'm feeling okay about being more aggressive about blocking with her. Last time, we kept letting her survive. And then we never used her ability like geniuses. But uh, I shouldn't group all of you in with me. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> but, you know, we. The royal we. <clears throat> this is a green black food deck we drafted so it's got a lot of food synergy some of which you can see now and a lot of food but we've also got some pretty strong rares Oh, Sworn Knight being the least strong of them, but it's obviously still pretty good. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, so I think we just attack with our Knight again. See if they just take another four. I would love it if they did. Yes, keep taking the damage. Because <laughs> we need our Witch to get to lethal. Uh, and they're helping us get there. So we're going to play this witch. Then we're going to do another food token. We can have them dead in the very near future. Um, especially with two witches in play, potentially. I'm a little bit worried they might... Um... Okay, well, that's not awesome, but... We're not that worried about it either, I don't think. Our main goal right now is to witch it up, so. I think Oathsworn Knight is more based on the Black Knight from Arthurian lore, just like the Black Knight from Monty Python is. I think it's a common source, but not the same thing, if that makes sense. Um, okay. So... Let's attack with our knight again. I mean, if they just take this, I may not play anything. <laughs> yeah, they're, that's that's actually not going to kill him is the good news. They have to block him as well. Um, so we get a two for one if they decide to block him here. Well, now we're going to get at least a two for one. Yeah, sure. So I don't think we do anything because we can just win if we untap. We do six to them at the end of their turn and then six to them on our turn. I guess we can play this land. <clears throat> so if they can kill my witch, that's going to be one of my witches. That's going to be annoying. Right, that should give us the game now. We're not going to leave damage on the board this time, right?
All right. <laughs> it's nice not leaving a bunch of damage on the board. So this will be our last game, our last match with this deck, one way or another, whether we win or lose. Which should give us, hopefully, enough time to do one more. We can always, if we have to, like we did with this deck, we can just do it over two different uh, <laughs> streams. I think we can keep this. We don't have green mana, but we do have a bunch of cards we can play with just black mana anyway. Um, so we have time. I mean, even in a worst case scenario, we can forever young to cycle into a land. Um, you know, it's basically a cycling. Hey, we drew green anyway. How about that? Yeah, it was a cool way to win. It's basically how we could have won our first... Our second game against them, but we screwed that up. Oh, their mana screwed. That's not good. Play the rider. It hits harder, so if they're continuing to have mana issues, I think we're happier that way. Alright, so you can block right now. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, that'll be nice later, hopefully. All right. Can't block him, though. Noble. So we need to kill this. <laughs> He's a serious problem um, and will be one in the near future. Garrett can do it, but we don't have the mana for him yet, obviously enough. Merrily Frider can do it with a little bit of help. He needs a little bit of help from his friends. Um, yeah, that's not good. Merely Frider may need to be killing that right now, actually. Because <laughs> Fairy Vandal gets out of control in a hurry. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably play Trail of Crumbs, Sacrifice the Food, which will also let me look at the top two cards in my library, incidentally. So I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, yeah. Although, if I play the Acolyte, I can play Garrick next turn, but... I think we want to kill this before anything happens. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Sacrifice of food. Target the Vandal. Sacrifice. Curious pair just because of Garrick. And it'll make you unblockable. And then we're going to kill that Vandal.
They could do something like mill our wolf at some point, and then we can forever young it back. I wouldn't hate that. Obviously. Yeah, this guy's been better than I expected him to be. I think I gave him a C+. Plus. Seems more like he's just a B. Day's been pretty good so far, this surmountable lemon. Okay, well. Let's keep the ginger brute train going, huh? We'll be able to cast Garrick next turn, provided our Rose Thorn Acolyte doesn't get countered or something. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll just... We're just going to attack with one of them here. Because I want to play the Acolyte. Uh, yeah. We're just beating him down here with these this Ginger Brute. I guess that's the new one, actually, but you know what I mean. Alright, play the Acolyte. Although, I guess if they counter our Acolyte, we'd rather have that happen than Garrick, you know? Another Forest. It would have made our deck hilarious if we got Oko, too, and just, like, splashed him. <laughs> so, we kind of hope they tap out here. Oh, not like that, though. <laughs> okay. Well, that hurts. <laughs> On to our plan of Ginger Brutes, I guess. All right, <laughs> the race is on. Attack them for three every turn, seems pretty good, you know? We have five cards, so there's still two turns away from being able to get the Vantress Gargoyle online. I forgot to do that. <laughs> I don't think they realized it either. <laughs> Man, I was talking about how it'd be awesome if they milled our Wicked Wolf. But that was when we had Forever Young in our hand. <laughs> it's not nice. So, once we have to stop beating down, we can sort of switch gears and uh, use the Ginger Brutes and Trail of Breadcrumbs to try to find something, but... The fact that our two best cards are in our graveyard isn't awesome, that's for sure. Um, especially our two best permanents, I think. They're on a four-turn clock, though, for what that's worth. Um, we're going to be on a four-turn clock starting next turn, though. I mean, so we'll be ahead on the race, but if they add anything else to the board... We could be in trouble. Nice. <laughs> that worried about the Ginger Brute beat down, huh? Dang.
Interesting. If only I had three or more swamps. I may just hold off on playing this for that reason. Um, this deck's four and one so far, Solomon. And this is the first game in our last match. Because getting back Wicked Wolf would be pretty big. Wow. Did I... I used the same ability twice on the same one. Come on, Magic Arena. Make it easier to do this. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have anything I need to do with my mana, but, you know. Still kind of annoying. Drops into 10. And now, this next turn... Ginger Brute's going to start attacking... Uh, not Ginger Brute. Vrantress Gargoyle's going to start attacking us. <clears throat> and that is why we kind of want to hold on to our Witch's Cottage and see what we can do. We have a bunch of food in our deck that'll also help us in this race. So, hopefully we find it. Yeah, so now he is ready to go. The question is, like, what blockers can they play? Well, they do have the Queen of Ice, I guess. She's kind of annoying. Man, this format takes a long time. Food would help a lot, just because it would help us in the race. It would help us find what we need. Like, a swamp at this point would be awesome of our cottage so yeah it's not good okay she'll help with the race I might kind of have to play this cottage now though So we're just going to attack with two here. And we're going to play Tempting Witch. Then we kind of need to play our Cottage just so we have as much mana as possible. Being is for seven in the air. But, I might have lethal on the ground with the help of our witch. Let me take seven. So we do have one whole turn left. Oh, man. So much for that. So the witch could have helped us get lethal. She can't now. And they can replay their queen. Well, we actually still do have one turn, don't we? Ooh, and there's witch's cottage. How about that? Okay. Yeah, I think we just get him with all three of these. Play our witch. I think everyone thinks Field of the Dead's getting banned. Okay. So, they can drop us to one here. Glad you've been enjoying the videos, Tronalanya. Yeah. Have an editor doing 
some work for me to make the videos look a lot cooler. Mike, who I've done podcast stuff with, which we're also going to do again at some point uh, soon. But yeah, so we have an awesome card on top of our library and we can get them for lethal, but can they kill us first? Okay. That should give us lethal, because our wicked wolf can kill the gargoyle and I can attack with everything. Right? Uh, yes. Yes, he can. I have one black mana, but I think obviously we need to do this now. So. Target the gargoyle. Decline. Resolve. I don't even think I need to do this, but just to be safe. Okay. Eh, I don't think we're going to bring the equipment in here. Oh, maybe we are. Yeah, let's do it. I probably should have just had it in the deck. I don't like it very much, but in a food deck with four ginger brutes, it's probably the right thing to do. Um, I definitely think this is a keeper. Hopefully this time they don't make us discard a Garrick, huh? See if we can get our ginger brood to get us there again, you know. It was pretty much the three ginger brutes that ruled the day last time. <laughs> See if they can do it here. So I think we probably play our noble. Um, yeah. We'll start doing food shenanigans later. If we can just put damage on the board, I think we should. Yeah, Wizards has been having a hard time the last few years with standard, printing cards in standard that just end up being too good. 
Okay, well. Let the damage continue. Um, Alright, so I think we attack. Drop them to 13. And then, I think... I'm gonna go like this, make a food. And then play this. We'd love to draw a forest before we have to play our cabin, but we'll play our cabin this turn if uh, we don't draw a forest. And then we can still play Trail of Breadcrumbs. Okay, well, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> there are cards in my hand I like, certainly, but uh, they're also taking a turn off to do this, basically, and I'm going to drop them to nine. I'm guessing they take out Muscle, but maybe not. It's it's a hard choice, for sure. If I were in their shoes, yeah. Take the removal. Hey, we did draw our forest. <laughs> Just like we wanted to. So I'm actually going to do this. And then I'm going to do this. We're gonna get another food when we play our cabin. Okay, so. I think I'm actually going to attack with my Noble here. I basically have free food lying around, so... Oh yeah, if they go for the double block, I'm not going to bother eating food. I'm just going to kill both of them. Yeah. Then we go Gingerbread Cabin, Carver. We've been struggling to find the mana to actually play Oathsworn Knight of late. So they're probably going to stabilize against our early rush and we'll have to do the last day damage in a grindy way like our Witch or something. That seems to be the way most of our games have gone actually, doesn't it? I think it does. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> that is really not good. Okay, so they do let me use this ability again, though. So there's that, actually. So, unblockable. Unblockable. Attack, attack, Carver. Yeah, I mean, I think between our food and our ginger brutes, this is a race we're gonna win, but we'll see what happens. I learned my lesson. I needed to be more aggressive with my Carver in that in earlier games. And he's definitely, he's gotten in for four extra damage for us. That's not bad, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy's lifelink. 
Okay, now we're in trouble. Stabilizing is not going to be easy. I mean, uh, stabilizing for them is going to be easy, actually. Well, unless we do that, that's pretty gross top deck. I mean, uh, they still gain enough life to survive here, but yeah. Pack them back down to two. And end our turn. See you later, Atomic Squirrel. That is a big paladin. Certainly. <laughs> was Ginger Brute the MVP here? I don't think it was Garrick. I think it was Ginger Brute. That was a gross top deck, especially right after they made me discard stuff. So I'm sure they're frustrated, and they may be time deciding to time us out. No, they're going to block. Okay. Good job. Good job, deck. Um... So, we already put the first part of our record in, but now we have 2-0 to add to it. So, we went 5-1 and one with that deck. I think I think that's what it deserved to do. Um, probably could have gone 5-0 and oh if... Oh, no, we ended up winning the match that I punted hard on anyway. It just took longer. 